Hey all, uh, today I'm going to uh, show one demonstration on use cases where someone asked, okay, Prashun, can you record this scenario? So I'm taking an uh, example of material. Uh, the scenario is simple where uh, the business asked to create a, uh, let me take a note here. Okay. So business is asking to uh, maintain a 2GL account for a same material. For example, you take uh, material is, uh, these two are the material, one is, uh, uh, gasket another is uh, electrode right electrode gas is more uh, both are you know, uh, part of the, these materials are for a part of a, a spark plug uh, as a parent material okay so imagine you are going to produce a spark plug internally and these two are the part of the uh, final product okay so then imagine uh, the first product is more into mechanical goods gasket and uh, second is electrical goods imagine okay that case uh, the the business want to keep a, a separate gl account then how you manage to handle this right so for that yeah i have taken an example of uh, uh, configuration here uh, to manage two valuation class firstly i created uh, uh, i copied rh uh, material type from that rh, RH material type i created ztgs as a customized material type okay in this customized material type, I have configured two valuation class. One is Z005, uh, uh, four is for electrical, and uh, uh, five is for mechanical goods, like that. The two valuation class I maintained, configured from that, I created a material master. Okay. So, how to manage to create uh, all this uh, like uh, configuration already, you know, right? Like more, uh, all the consultants are knowing about it, or maybe user level also you know about how to use it okay but on the configuration side i will show you how exactly i configured uh, now i'm going with the reversal reverse engineering like i just show the scenario first then i'll go and showcase you uh, how exactly i configured this okay just focus now here uh, these two are the material which i uh, raised a PO also purchase order from that i did a gr posting so the intention here is more uh, like uh, what i want to show here is how this gl accounts are posted differently okay so one gl account for this and one gl account for this right a different uh, uh, valuation class so i'll be taking this material copy and i'll i'll find uh, the gr posting for this right i'll just copy this material and i'll go to uh, the uh, the t code called mb51 okay i'll uh, uh, like uh, i pass the i'll pass the material number here so let me copy this material and uh, and execute okay Execute here. I'll remove the supplier is not required. I'll just put the plant number and material. So when I execute here, it will show the entry like uh, what GR is posted today, right? One number here can be here. So if I open this particular uh, the posting to 90, the material document, if I open the uh, document for FI documents here, right? Definitely here you can see accounting document will be shown, and here you can see 30010 is a GL account posted for the material uh gasket right okay uh the material is here gasket okay if i open other uh material definitely if i open this material document so which is uh you're referring as a uh electrode gap right if i open this fi document uh, you can see the another gl account here see here three double zero triple zero right so this is the one gl account which hit here other gl account also hit for the other material but both are from a same material type so how you can uh, configure these all, I will just show you. I'll go with the reverse engineering. I'll show first OBIC setting. So in the OBIC setting, you can find the VS, VSX here. Go with the VSX entry here, and then enter the chart of account. Then here you can search for the, the valuation class. The so whichever valuation class we maintained here, Z04 with this GL account, and Z05 with this GL account. That's why system will look into this and uh, try to, oh, sorry try to uh, 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 fetch the data okay let me this the system is asking okay. so fine so let me get into the screen again here okay see uh, system will look into the gl account in the back end z004 uh, and z005 valuation class so if you want to go and check the valuation class in the metal mask you can check that also just go in, into mm0 mm60 you can go and uh, just execute here and uh, here you can see this uh, valuation class, right? Z TGS, oh, sorry, uh, metal type and valuation class. Okay. 
So for this material gasket, you can see that 005. And for other material, if I uh, search for other material, right, with respect to uh, this plant, I can take electrode, okay, here electrode gap, I just pass here. And if I open here, there's a other uh, validation class, Z004. You, if you go to MM03 also, you can view that uh, validation class which you have taken in the during the creation time, okay. Now, in the OBOS, I mentioned that, okay, you, are, you can go and just check the entry uh, for the BSX, then you can able to see the, the linkage between uh, the validation class and uh, GL account, okay. So how you manage to handle the validation class for the customized material type, a single material type, right? Or for one, uh, two material type, uh, so two materials with a single material type, right? So how you manage to handle? So it's a one configuration, like there's a configuration you should follow here. And the material management, you just come here in the SPRO and here you can get into valuation and account assignment and go to account determination. Here you can find for the account determination without result and go here and find the defined valuation class. So here initially we decided about the uh, account reference category, ZTGS, which we are maintained initially for the ZTGS material type. Then after that, we created the valuation class, which is uh, Z004 and 005. Okay, these two entries we did here, electrical goods and mechanical goods, and we linked with the account reference category here. Okay, so later I we have made a, a bridge between material type and account reference category. Here we have open, uh, I, let me open here, this ZTGS material type, there I have linked with the account reference category. Even you open uh, that, the transaction code OMS2, if I open the particular uh, entry here with the material type ZTGS, then definitely you can able to see the uh, details here. ACR uh, reference, right? Account reference is ZTGS, okay? So with this combination, if you go and create any material with uh, that combination, if I select the material type ZTGS and I enter and I go with the uh, data one and two, then purchasing, then I choose uh, general data and accounting. So if I enter the plant numbers at uh, SW01 and then I go with RM, then definitely, so I can choose the details here. Okay, let me create another uh, uh, bearing set. Okay, I can create here material for the mechanical goods and I'll go with a piece and I can choose the metal group here and then I can enter the division, enter here, then I can go into the evaluation class, right? So, okay, this is not available. I, I'll go with the uh pgs here okay the enter here then go to accounting in the accounting view you can see the, the selection if you select the, these two validation class for the material types that teaches it will show only these two so here i can choose which uh evaluation class to be selected for this particular material under material type so I, if i see this is a mechanical goods i can go with the mechanical goods and i will enter the the price of the particular uh, the product and then i'll save it okay so if i post for this particular material with the TO, right, uh, with the moment type 101, definitely the system will look for the, uh, the GL account which is maintained in the back end for the valuation class. The next video, I'll be sharing one more scenario where how exactly you consider uh, OBIC setting for a general modifier, right? I'll be creating that video and sharing you soon. Here you can see general modifier. What is the use of valuation modifier here? How you can use it here, right? You can see here some valuation modifier are there, 001, SNTP, ZRF. So how you can use this entry? This is more about uh, if you are using a if you are going to apply a different GL account with respect to a, a plant combination. For example, your plant is HW01 and HW02. Two plants are there. Okay, uh, then you want to maintain a different GL account with respect to uh, the same material. For example, you are uh, uh, receiving the material here in this plant. The, it should hit uh, one GL account. If you are receiving the same material in other plant it should hit another GL account, okay? How you manage with respect to a plant uh, combination, then that I'm going to explain. I'll give a hint here. In the SPRO, there is one option called, uh, sorry, in the o OMWD, I can open OMWD transaction code. Here you can see there is a valuation area, company code, then chart of account and valuation grouping code. So by using this, uh, the plant SW01 and 02 or 03 or any plant which I refer here, Definitely, I have to set the valuation group in code to maintain the different GL account. So, in next video, I'll be sharing that uh, information. Uh, yeah, like this, there are many uh, information I will share, uh, which will be helping you all to know the, uh, uh, the such scenario as much as possible.
you can share this video to your friends, colleagues, or who are all looking for it, right? You can share and uh, give a reference. In the sense, uh, they can, you can give a knowledge to them, and they can easily learn such a knowledge from from taxpayers. Thank you. Have a great day.